morning, saints of God. My name is Pastor Brian K. Dees, and I am the proud pastor of East Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church, located here in the city of Picayune, Mississippi. And we are just thankful that the Lord has blessed us to see another Sunday morning, another day he's blessed us and kept us, and we're happy to be able to make this broadcast. And I want to especially thank all of the saints, the labors and workers of this ministry, our sons and daughters, all of you for your labor of love. Always mindful to thank you for your faithfulness, for your commitment, for your loving kindness, for uh, your diligence, a made up mind to stay strong in the Lord, to fight the good fight of faith, and for the Lord to ask us, uh, we, for the Lord to keep us bound together as sons and daughters in this body of Christ, knowing that we are laborers and workers together in God's vineyard. I pray continually for him to bless us, uh, to bless this church family, that we can do the work of ministry and to let our light shine that others may see the Lord in us and see that uh, he is blessing us to be an effective witness. And so I'm just thankful for another day. I also want to uh, take the time to tell uh, the matriarch of this ministry, Sister Maddie Beck, celebrated a birthday a couple of days ago. She is 94 years old and just as sweet as ever, just as lovely as ever, uh, still looking beautiful. And uh, Sister Beck, not only is she the matriarch of this ministry, but she is my great aunt. And we salute you, we commend you, and we say happy birthday, 94, and pray that the Lord will bless you to see many many more and I want to uh, let us know that we're praying for the saints of this ministry that are sick and shut in that are in hospitals and that are in nursing homes that are recovering recuperating from surgeries and sicknesses and illnesses and to know that in spite of the pandemic uh, of which we are still uh, being affected that we're gonna press on in Jesus name and to know that there's a bomb in Gilead and his name is Jesus I want us to know uh, that we are uh, continually praying for the Lord to keep us, to bless this world we're living in, to bless this nation, and all of us that are sons and daughters of the Lord that have been washed in the blood of the Lamb, that we will stay together, treat each other with loving kindness, let our light shine, and do the work of the church. Amen. I want us to know that there is a word uh, from the Lord. Lest I keep you too long, asking you that have your Bibles to turn with me to the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter number 15 and I'm going to begin reading at verse number 29 down through verse number 31. St. Matthew chapter number 15 verse 29 down to verse number 31 and it reads, And Jesus departed from thence and came nigh unto the sea of Galilee and went up into a mountain and sat down there. And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. Insomuch that the multitudes wondered when they saw the dumb to speak, the maimed to be whole, the lame to walk, and the blind to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. And we use for a thought, for a text, a text this morning, saints of God, the problem and the solution. The problem and the solution. And I encourage us to know, as we think and listen to these words from the Lord, all of us have some problems. I don't care how clean we live, I don't care how saved we are, I don't care how strong we are in the Lord, we got some problems. We've had some problems, we've dealt with some problems, and we're dealing with some problems in our life. No matter what it is, that's between you and God. But in the lesson today, against this backdrop, Think about Jesus. There was something about Jesus where the Bible says that he withdrew himself into a mountain 
by the Sea of Galilee. Now imagine this, Jesus withdrew himself to get away from the crowd. I don't know why, I don't know what his reason was, but the Bible says that that's what he did. And into a mountain, you gotta climb up a mountain to get inside a mountain. You gotta walk up a mountain. You gotta go toward a mountain. You got to get there to elevate yourself. But the Bible says he was there and went into the mountain and lo and behold, people began to come. And I want us to know, we think about how this scripture is written, the narrative that, that uh, Matthew gives us. The Bible says that there were those that brought others that were lame, that were blind, that were maimed, that were dumb, they had all kinds of issues in their life. And the Bible says, but somebody brought them. So the Bible says the multitudes brought all of these people to Jesus and laid them at his feet. Now you think about this. We got some problems going on in our life. And I don't know about you. You know, I've never seen a blind person drive down the road trying to get to the doctor. I've never seen a man that cannot walk walking down the highway to get to a doctor. I've never seen anyone that, that has such a disability where uh, such a, a issue going on in their life with sickness or illness or whatever the personal conflict is, someone takes them to the doctor. Think about it. So blessed be the name of the Lord, someone loved these individuals that we read about in the Bible today to take them to Jesus. And I don't know what all they were going through, I don't know what all the situation was, but the Bible says that they bought these and also said that there were many others. Let me tell you today, if you got a problem, Jesus is the solution. For the Bible said, Jesus said, I came for the sick. I didn't come for the well. He said the well need not a physician. But ask yourself this question. When you sick in your body, you got something going on in your body, you go to the doctor. And we trust that the Lord will lead us to the right doctor to give us the medicine and the medical attention that we need. But we as children of God, we know that our healing comes from Jesus. Amen, somebody. And so the Bible says they brought all of these people that had all of these different situations, all these problems in their life, looking for the solution. And his name is Jesus. Does not say where they came from, does not say what they went to to get to where Jesus was, but I do know they had to get up inside a mountain to get to him. And so you have to be determined. These people that we read of in the Bible today, they were determined to get some help for their loved ones, and not only for their loved ones, but for themselves. They wanted to see Jesus. They heard about Jesus. A deaf man, a woman, couldn't hear Jesus. But those of us that can hear, I heard something about this man called Jesus. And guess what? We're going to get ourselves together. I'm going to take you to Jesus because I believe that Jesus is the answer for your problem. And that's where we get the thought for, the, for today, the problem and the solution. I don't know about you, but if I, when I have a problem in my life, I'm looking for the answer for it. I'm not going to wallow around in my problem. If I see the problem and I see what it is, I want to get the diagnosis. I want to get it fixed. I want to get it right. And listen to how Jesus blessed them. They laid all of these people that came from near and far at the feet of Jesus. And the Bible says, any, doesn't say anything about he had a dialogue. What you got to say? What's your name? What is your name? Tell me what's going on with you. The Bible says that Jesus simply healed them all. That's what the Bible says. I want us to know that Jesus will heal you of your situation. He will heal you of your predicament, whatever you bound up or caught up in, whatever your sickness is. And it's not always a physical uh, issue that we're dealing with. A lot of us, we have spiritual, emotional problems down on the inside, in our mind, in our heart, in our soul. And we need to be delivered by Jesus. We have problems, but Jesus, blessed be his name, is the solution. And the Bible said, when they saw those that brought them, those that witnessed the miracle of Jesus, they saw the lame to walk, the blind to see, those that were maimed, that were healed, 
those that were struggling with whatever the issues was, when they saw the miracle that Jesus did, the Bible said they celebrated and they glorified the God, Lord God Almighty. They glorified and praised God. And that's the last thing I want us to leave us with today. When the Lord blesses you, tell him thank you. When the Lord works a miracle in your life, glorify him and tell him thank you. When the Lord delivers you and brings you out of some kind of bondage or some kind of addiction or some kind of problem going on in your life, tell the Lord thank you and worship and let him know, Lord, I am so thankful for what you've done for me. I praise your holy name. And remember this, the problem that we have in our life, the answer is Jesus. As I close this message, Jesus is the answer for the world today. He's the answer. There's no doubt in my mind that Jesus can fix it. There's nothing too hard for God. He is a miracle worker. If nobody can't do it, Jesus can. When you tried and cried and gone to your last, all that you've gone through, looking for a blessing or a miracle, call on the name of Jesus. Ask him to help you. Ask him to save you. Ask him to touch you. Ask him to bless you. Ask him to deliver you. Ask him to do an effectual working in your life. The problem and solution and the solution. And his name is Jesus. And I want to tell the Lord thank you today because we have a savior and God sent Jesus, his only begotten son, died on Calvary's cross for all of our sins. And don't worry about someone that don't believe it. You believe it. Let God take care of that part. All we should be able to do and have an I made up matter, I'm gonna believe that Jesus is my savior. I know I've been blood washed, I know I've been born again, but I thank God for Jesus for he died on Calvary's cross for all of our sins. And he got up when they put him in a grave. He got up from the grave with all power in his hand. We serve a victorious savior. We serve what I say in my own words, the all time champion of the world. There's no one greater than Jesus. God is so good that he loved us enough to give us his son, Jesus. And whatever your problem is, Jesus is the solution. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing us with this broadcast. Pray to the Lord that there has been someone that heard these words. Bless them to get farther down the road to do an effectual, an effectual working in their life. In Jesus' name. Until the next time, saints of God, we pray God's continuous blessings and look forward to seeing you uh, next Sunday morning. Amen.